Hello and welcome back to Modded PSPs and You, your one-stop shop for all things homebrew on your newly acquired, completely legal, modded PlayStation Portable. Today we'll be going over how to play any PlayStation game on your PSP or PS Vita using an application called PSX to PSP. This application will allow you to take any PlayStation 1 backup and turn it into a PSP eboot file, in turn allowing you to play your favorite PlayStation games on either a modified PSP or PS Vita. So without any further introduction, let's begin. First, you'll need to download the PSX to PSP application linked in the description. Once downloaded, open the extracted folder and run the PSX to PSP exe file. You'll then be greeted by a rather plain window that we'll be using to create our PSP eboots. In order to do so, you'll need to have a backup of a PlayStation disc, either in ISO or BinQ format as well as a set of icon and wallpaper size PNG images for the title, which we'll use to help distinguish our games on the PSP. With all the required files in hand, press the button with the three dots next to the box for the ISO slash PVP file. Then navigate to the location for your PS1 game backup and open its ISO or bin file. Once selected, the software should automatically fill out the game title and game ID. These should already be correct, so there's no reason to change them. However, you'll want to change the location for the output PPP file. For this tutorial, I'll just select my main desktop. Next, we'll want to add our images by clicking on the three dotted button next to the icon and background PNG options. Then navigate to the location for each of your image types and select them. Once all the files have been added to the PSX to PSP window, head down to and click on the options button. Then change the compression from 1 to 9 and select save. At which point you can finally press that elusive convert button to begin the process of turning your PS1 backup into a PSP compatible eboot file. Once the process completes, you should notice a new folder for the game you just converted in the output destination you selected earlier. Now we'll have to move this folder over to the console. Connect your PSP to the computer using a mini USB cable. Then enter the PSP folder on your system, followed by the game folder. Now copy over the folder housing the converted game to this directory. After it's finished transferring, you can disconnect your system from your computer. Now if you navigate to the game section of the XMB and enter the memory stick storage, you should see your converted PS1 title in the games list. Congratulations as you have now successfully converted your PS1 backup to a PSP eboot, playable on both your PSP and PS Vita system. Now if you enjoyed, consider dropping a like and making that subscribe button glow so that you don't miss any future content. And if you have any lingering comments or questions, be sure to visit our official Discord server, link down below in case you're interested in stopping by. With that, I'll see you in the next one.